हरे कृष्णा राधे राधे इट हैज़ बीन अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम राइट येस लेटली हैव बीन प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एन एग्जामिनेशन विच वॉज सपोज टू बी कंडक्टेड दिस मंथ बट दे हैव पोस्ट पोन दिट टू द नेक्स्ट मंथ सो फाइनली विद कृष्णा स्मर्स यू हैव गॉट दिस वंडरफुल अपॉर्चुनिटी टू सर्व यू ऑल दी बॉडीज वंस अगेन एंड थैंक यू सो मच टू ऑल अवर डियर सब्सक्राइबर्स हु वर एक्चुअली वेटिंग फॉर आवर टूटोरियल्स इट्स सो स्वीट ऑफ यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर इमेंस सपोर्ट and by the way in this tutorial we're going to show you how to stitch different styled outfits for jagannath baldev and subhadra mai we are actually stitching dhoti styled outfits for jagannath and baldev it's actually a very new concept because not many accessory stores have such styled outfits for jagannath and baldev so here we are with the tutorial hope this tutorial helps many of them who are serving jagannath baldev subhadra mai dds out there and by the way many of them were confused of what dds that we actually serve like because in our previous tutorials you have been seeing many laddu gopals jagannath balleh subhadra mai and small size radha krishna dds so all of these dds are actually the dds served by our devotee friends the actual dds that we serve are the radha goin ji dds that you have been seeing in the intro parts of our tutorials so anyways as you can see on the screen that is how we have measured jagannath baldev and subhadra mai anyways in this tutorial we are going to stitch jagannath's and subhadra mai's outfits because for balram's outfit it's the same method as jagannath's outfit so here we have a fabric it's actually double the measurements of our jagannath our jagannath's hip or neck circumference is 10 inches but we have taken 20 inches wide cloth and our jagannath's length from his neck till ground is 5 inches but we have taken a fabric with its height 10 inches we have also cut lining and canvas with the same measurements and here's a fabric with its length 22 inches for the frill of his dhoti and here are some fabrics with these measurements for the sake of his chadar Okay now we're going to start stitching Jagannath's dhoti. Firstly we're going to stitch the main fabric with the canvas. And then we're going to cut the uneven edges. and now we're going to place the lining in this way and we're going to stitch only the three sides of it and now we're going to cut these edges and we're going to turn it inside out and now we're again going to stitch the edges for the smooth finishing and we're going to stitch a lace border it all depends on your creativity and by folding the fabric into exact half we're going to rub the exact center with a hard object so that will get a line like this we have to start stitching frills by leaving 2 inches at the top on this line
we have to stitch it in a way that the length will become 5 inches which is actually the length of our Jagannath from his neck till ground. We are also going to stitch frills in the same way at the other two sides of the fabric. In this way, all this frilled area should be 5 inches tall. And as you all know, we have taken 20 inches wide fabric. We're going to stitch frills in this way. In a way that its length will become 10 inches, which is actually our Jagannath's neck or hip circumference. Now we're going to stitch frills for the dhoti. Firstly, we're going to zigzag the edges. Then we're going to stitch the lace border in this way. And now we're going to cut this fabric in this cross manner. And then we're going to make frills And we're going to stitch it on the dhoti like this. This is how it looks. And now we're going to stitch this yellow fabric like this. And now we're going to stitch a lace border over here. We are done stitching Jagannath's dhoti. Now we are stitching Jagannath's cheddar. We have to stitch the border in this way. And then we're going to stitch few lace borders like this. And now we're going to stitch this fabric in this way and we're going to turn it inside out. And then we're going to join this long stitched fabric to this bordered and filled fabric. We can stitch more lace borders depending on our creativity, like this. We're done with the Jagannath's outfit, yay! And now it's time to stitch Subhadrama's outfit, Hari Bol! Actually, whenever I think about Subhadra Rani, I get reminded of this beautiful sweet pastime. So let me utilize this opportunity to share this pastime with you all. 
So we have a devotee friend who lives in Vrindavan. She lovingly and heartfully serves to Jagannath Balaev Subhadramai deities. So one day, she have offered garlands, flower garlands that she have made to Jagannath Balaev and Subhadramai. Unknowingly, the garlands that she have made for Jagannath and Balaev were bigger and grand than the garland that she have made for Subhadrarani. So basically, the garland that she had made for Subhadrarani was simple and small. So after offering this garland, she went out for doing some work. And surprisingly, when she had returned to her home, so basically she lives only with Jagannath Balle Subhadrarani. I meant there is nobody else at her home. So when she had returned back to her home, surprisingly, when she had opened the door, at the footstep of her door, there was this small, simple garland. She was astonished literally astonished when she saw that garland she immediately took that garland and ran to the altar and she have realized and she have observed that her subhadrarani is not wearing any garland how surprising she she literally got shocked like what what is this garland doing over there like why is Subhadrarani not wearing any garland? I, li- I clearly remember uh, offering garland to Subhadrarani. Why is this garland literally at the doorstep? Like, why? And she have realized, oh, the garland that I've made for Subhadrarani is actually small and simple compared to the garland that I've offered to Jagannath and Palli. And then she have realized, she have realized her mistake and she have literally begged for their forgiveness. From that day, she has never once made simpler things to Subhadrarani. <laughs> she has started offering, loving and serving all the three siblings, I meant Jagannath, Pallev and Subhadrarani, wholeheartedly. So basically, the moral behind this pastime is that her beloved deities tried to show her their presence so we must all understand that the deities that we are serving at our home they are not wood they are not metal they are not plaster of paris in fact it is krishna himself who is sitting in the altar mercifully receiving service from us even though we are not fit for doing his service even though millions and millions of people are struggling to even remember his name We've got this wonderful chance to serve our deities. The Lord who is universal, the Lord who is bigger than anyone could imagine, that Lord has become this tiny form of deity just to shower his unlimited, causeless mercy on us. So we must understand and serve our deities well by realizing and by understanding that we are not serving to wood or metal but instead we are serving to the lords to the lords themselves hari bol wonderful pastime right okay let's move on to the tutorial now so our subhadra rani's hip or uh, neck circumference is 8 inches but we are taking this fabric's length 32 inches which is four times her hip circumference and the height of this fabric is 5 inches our subhadra rani's length from her neck till ground is 4 inches but we have taken 1 inch extra for the stitching sake and we have taken a fabric of 16 inches which is double the height of subhadra rani our subhadra rani's height from her head till ground is 8 inches but we have taken 16 inches fabric for the sake of her dupatta so here we are stitching the main fabric with the lining on the three sides And we're going to stitch few laces 
depending on the creativity. And we need to start stitching frills in a way that the hip circumference of the skirt should be 8 inches because our Subhadrama's hip circumference is 8 inches. Hari bol, we are done with the Subhadrani's outfit. This grey belt area, we have stitched that in the same way as we have stitched for the Jagannath's dhoti. And we have stitched the dupatta in the same way we have stitched the skirt but we didn't stitch any frills and we didn't stitch any lining for the cloth. And just like we have stitched a skirt for Subhadrarani, in the same method we can stitch for Jagannath and Baldev also. Anyhow we are done stitching all the outfits with Jagannath, Baldev and Subhadra Mai's ultimate causeless mercy. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Till the end, please consider supporting us by subscribing to our channel TT Service and share our tutorials to as many as possible as they might be helpful to many out there. And if you ever follow our tutorials, we would really love to take darshan of your TTs. Please consider sending pics to our Instagram account at TT Service. The link to our Instagram account is in the description box below. Hare Krishna, Radhe Radhe.